Hey guys and welcome back to another video of Sparkflux. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the accessibility analysis command in Fusion 360. You can find this command in the inspection menu and here it is the accessibility analysis. Basically, the use of this command is to measure, is to determine the undercuts in your design. This comes in handy when you are uh, in the manufacturing workspace and you are making some machining program for your complicated data so that was that is necessary to first determine the undercuts your profile have so if you just click on the accessibility analysis a dialog box open and it's first thing that it asks about the body to be analyzed you can select the body and then the direction direction here represents your uh, the plane on which your tool is gonna move so it could be any direction you want your it depends on your programming thing like that so first of all let me choose a direction the direction could be a plane or any axis so i'm going to make a plane let's see i'm going to uh, make an offset plane and just press ok construction uh, let me hide this extra one so here it is a plane uh, so this is the body that I have taken as an example to determine the undercut in the segment section. So what I have to do is click on the accessibility analysis, select the body to be analyzed and the direction. So you can also control the opacity of the color and just press OK. So here the green color represent that this particular profile, if, if it is to be machined from the top, then it has zero undercuts. As you can see, there is absolutely no uh, red areas that that uh, determines that there is no undercut as it is totally green. Now, what if, if I just look backside of it, it is totally red. That is because the tool can't read the backside of the mold. So the Fusion 360 determines at a undercut. So let's change the thing a little bit. Let's undo the thing. What if I create an undercut and check if this command really works for that click M for move select the body uh, choose any pivot point you like and let me just rotate it for a few degrees so that undercut could be created on the profile you can there are two ways to create undercut either you move the uh, your component with respect to the plane or you can just change the plane so that direction could be changed so this is just to determine the uh, how to use this command now if i just again press on accessibility analysis choose the body and the direction now you can see there are some red regions here 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 and there are many places like that that determines now let me just press ok and just hide the plane for now now if you can see the green area represent that tool can access all these locations and red area represent that tool do not have accessibility to those regions let me clear that things from top view now if you can see top view you can't see the red region as they are undercuts and they come under these green profiles so this is how this command works let me give you another example uh, I have taken another block. This is from my work. So basically it's a mold. So what if uh, I need to machine this block uh, from a top surface? So what I need to do is uh, I need to check the uh, undercuts. So if I just click on top view, I can see that there, there is an undercut, but I can't clearly see if there is any undercut on here or here. So if that is where this command comes in handy so what I have to do is just click on accessibility analysis click on body to be examined and direction let me just plane uh, let me just stick to this plane and flip the direction so that the tool can open from the above so if you can see that if the tool comes from the z-axis like this so these are the profile that will be in the undercut sections like you can see it's obvious that this block won't allow the tool to go beyond uh, it so this is how this command works in fusion 360 hope you guys will watch the video 
and don't forget to click on subscribe button thank you and have a nice day